playing with power. If you're anything like me, you are probably waiting anxiously for Super Nintendo World to open its doors, not just in Japan, but in North America too. Sadly, with the state of the world, with everything going on, it doesn't seem like that's in the cards anytime soon. But some lucky few people are able to go to Super Nintendo World in Japan. There has been media days, there's been preview days. But what about you and I? What about the people that really want to see the inside of the park or just get a taste of what to expect? Good news. The Universal Studios Japan app has been updated to include, you guessed it, Super Nintendo World. And while it's not the exact same thing as being there, you can get a taste of what the power-up bands do and the attractions that are part of Super Nintendo World. So let's take a quick look at the app. If you want to get this, you can do that now. It's in the iPhone App Store. It is in the Google Play Store. Search for the Universal Studios Japan app. Now, the first thing you see once you get the app fired up is it wants you to scan your power-up band. There's a QR code on the back of the band once you actually pick one up, and once you scan it, you can pick a username, you can select a different pose depending on which character you got. So if you got the Mario power-up band, there's like five or six different poses for Mario, so you can do that. You can choose the background, and all of this is really designed so you can keep track of the things you do inside the park. The app also lets you find stickers throughout the park, again, all through the power-up band. You can get coins, there's different power-up blocks within the park itself. You tap your band on, you get coins, you do certain activities, you get coins, just like in the regular Super Mario. I mean, there's lots to do within the power-up band. The app does a very good job of showing you where all those things are. Next up, you can see the rank, so you can have essentially teams, so if you get the Mario or the Luigi power-up band, it shows you specifically how Mario or Luigi is doing in that particular day, who is winning. If you're super competitive, you can go to the daily rankings that show you the rankings of every person in the park for that day. There's even an all-time leaderboard, so you can see the person who's done the best since the park's been open, which... I guess that's going to be a pretty high honor <laughs> once we uh, actually get the parks starting to open. I can't wait to see what people are going to do with that. And besides that, you can also see high scores in different attractions. Obviously, there's the Mario Kart ride, which is going to be kind of a big deal. You can get points from that. And there is also a Bowser Jr. attraction. Obviously, at the moment, the park's not open, so we're not seeing really any kind of daily scores for any of this stuff at least right now. Next up we have the map. The map is really going to give you a good idea of everything that this park has to offer. There's different pins that really show all of the attractions. You can see the rides, you can see the areas where you can scan your power-up band. It's kind of a nice little interactive map of everything you can do in Super Nintendo World. And I love the art style. Everything about this is great. It kind of reminds me of the old Mario 3 artwork, so I'm totally digging this map setup. There's even a little kind of checkpoint right by Princess Peach castle that gives you a story of really one of the main attractions which is this bowser jr storyline where he stole the golden mushroom you have to get all the keys back and essentially get the mushroom back so you can kind of see your progress with that specific thing as well and then finally you have your options which you can pretty much just tell your power-up band to deactivate where you can add a different power-up band you can follow players so if you have a group of people you can compete specifically with your group of friends or your family you can edit your username all of this is kind of locked behind the power band so not a lot really to kind of explore there but that's it that's really the universal studios super nintendo world app in a nutshell not a lot more to it Obviously, the big feature here is the power-up bands and tracking all of that. From what I've seen, too, you can take the same power-up band across multiple different trips, and you can see your coin count go up across not just the one time you've gone, but every time you've gone into the park. So it definitely adds to that replayability. And obviously, the big thing is, once you're done playing with the power-up band in the park, it acts as an amiibo as well. So if you get the Mario one, from what I've seen, you can tap it on your Nintendo Switch, and you have a Mario Amiibo. I mean, that's pretty darn amazing. But that's it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this small little app tour. Hopefully we're going to be in Super Nintendo World sooner rather than later. But until then, stay wired in. Bye, guys.